This is Corbin Smith for the Seahawks Wire with our latest film breakdown on fifth round pick Trey Flowers out of Oklahoma State. He played safety for the Cowboys the last four seasons, but the Seahawks are anticipating moving him to corner. Standing six foot three, weighing 200 pounds and having great length with 33 and 7 8 inch arms, Flowers' build screams Seahawks corner. But considering he hasn't played the position since high school, there's going to be a steep learning curve for him as he tries to adjust to playing the position at the NFL level. From a schematic standpoint, it'll be difficult to evaluate the 2017 first team all big 12 selection because he was playing safety not corner however we can still look at his cover skills tackling ability and overall athletic traits to paint a picture on what the seahawks have in this fifth round draft pick does trey flowers have what it takes to convert to corner let's take a look since he played safety for Oklahoma State, Trey Flowers was typically up near the line of scrimmage or he was back in a single or double high look. This is a rare case where he was out in man coverage. This is an encouraging play for the Seahawks who depend on their corners to be able to guard against these vertical routes. Shows his great straight line speed and length prevents the completion. Flowers ran a 4-4-5 40-yard dash time at the NFL Scouting Combine. He's at his best when he's able to take advantage of his straight line speed. On this play against Pittsburgh, he's playing single high safety, drops back into zone. He doesn't fall for the pass fake and then directly beelines to the end zone to help defend the vertical throw, knocks it out of the receiver's hands. Along with possessing the top gear to track down vertical throws, Flowers isn't shy about delivering big hits at the point of the reception. Using stacked receivers to the right, Texas Tech tries to hit the go route on the right side to QT. Coming from the other side of the defense, Flowers is able to quickly make up ground and delivers a jarring blow to the receiver, knocking the football loose. Despite his lanky build, Flowers plays a physical brand of football, and he typically excels at limiting yak or yardage after the catch. He's really good in pursuit, whether it's in the run game or right after the catch. On this bubble screen, he immediately flies to the sideline and knocks the receiver out of bounds. Coach Pete Carroll and the Seahawks have to enjoy that effort. They also have to like the instincts that they see on film. He's an intelligent football player, and when he puts himself in proper position, it allows him to take advantage of his athletic ability and his length. Here he does a nice job breaking on the football, gets the deflection. Combining the effort and instincts from the previous two plays into one, this was late in regulation against Texas Tech. The Red Raiders are down seven. They're desperate. Nick Shimanek does a great job extending this play, and it's really hard for corners and safeties to maintain coverage in a situation like this. He sidesteps the pass rush. You would think somebody would be open, but look at the closing speed Flowers exhibits here and knocks the ball away. Calling him a ball hawk wouldn't necessarily be correct, but Trey Flowers did have four interceptions during his four seasons as a starter for the Cowboys, and I would use the word opportunistic describing his play, creating turnovers. He puts himself in the right place at the right time. This throw late in the game against Pittsburgh, they were blowing him out. Desperation throw, he's right there for the interception. Again, he's going to position himself nicely on an errant overthrow. This one in a close game. TCU's actually up 10 in this one. A bad throw by Kenny Hill, trying to hit his receiver going across the middle of the field. Overthrows him. Trey Flowers positions himself perfectly and makes the interception. On film, there's not a ton of times where he puts himself in a position to get interceptions, but when he does, he appears to have pretty good ball skills. One last play that I want to look at, the final play from the Texas Tech game. Flowers is dropped way back in prevent defense. Shimanek throws a desperation heave. Would have been nice to get the pick, but simply knocking it down ends the ball game. Overall, I was pretty impressed with what I saw from Flowers in coverage. However, his Oklahoma game film is disastrous. The Sooners exposed him for having tight hips and not moving very well in space. On this first play, he's man-to-man against tight end Mark Andrews. He falls into the outside and then gets crossed up on this out and up. Should have been a big play, but ball's overthrown. After failing to make a big play on that previous pass, the Sooners immediately went back after him on the next possession. Interestingly enough, Flowers is covering his cousin, Dimitri Flowers, who's a fullback for the Sooners, coming out of the backfield, running a seam route. The fullback's initial step inside gets Flowers' feet tangled up. He falls over. Now wide open, he races 49 yards for the touchdown. This overall lack of fluidity in open space is concerning if you're looking at Flowers from a man coverage standpoint. Though armed with great top speed, his agility is going to come into question after watching plays like this. 
He falls for the double move, gets his hips turned completely, and then gives up the huge pass play. One last example looking at these struggles moving in space. This is a difficult route to cover in man coverage. The outside receiver is going to go in motion, and then he's going to run a 10-yard out. All corners are going to surrender completions like this from time to time, but once again, Flowers is slow opening up his hips and running. He'll need technique work to improve this area of his game. Along with playing physical coverage, the Seahawks value tackling from their corners, especially against the run. While he's an inconsistent tackler and makes too many arm tackles, Trey Flowers brings great effort against the run each week. As shown against Pitt, he flies downhill, finds the football, and makes a play. Much as we talked about in coverage, you can see the instincts that Flowers brings to the table and how he defends the run. In a bull game against Virginia Tech, he had a season-high 12 tackles last year. This is one of the plays from that game that really impressed me. He's going to identify the run, aggressively shoot the gap, and stop the ball carrier in his tracks. Something that's obvious immediately after you start watching Trey Flowers on film. He's going to be around the football. He's going to throw himself into the fight. He's in constant pursuit. Even when he doesn't make the initial hit, he's going to track the football and he's going to come support support his teammates defending the run. Among plenty of other positives, what most impressed me about Trey Flowers' game is how effective and willing of a tackler he is in the red zone. He had a lot of big stops in the 2017 season inside the 20-yard line for the Cowboys. He's aggressive and generally doesn't wait for the running back to come to him. He goes up and tries to make plays. Defending the run is all about mindset, and this kid, he's instinctive, he's disciplined against the run. This was especially evident in his ability to stop quarterback runs in Big 12 play. Against TCU, Kenny Hill, a very athletic quarterback, Watch Flowers fly up once he identifies that Hill has kept the football, wraps him up, and brings him down at the line of scrimmage. Another outstanding play here against Texas Tech. Oklahoma State had two critical red zone stops that forced the Red Raiders to kick field goals, and that's a big reason they were able to hold on and win this game. Maintaining the edge, Trey Flowers, he stops Nick Shimanek at the line of scrimmage, prevents him from gaining any yardage and eventually they're going to kick a field goal. Similarly against Oklahoma, you didn't see Baker Mayfield run the football very much. This was kind of an odd play. It looks like it might have been a broken play for Oklahoma. Mayfield fakes the handoff and then tries to run the football to the left. Flowers coming from the backside, showing the effort. He quickly moves down the line of scrimmage and helps wrap up Mayfield for a two-yard loss. One last example of Flowers showing outstanding discipline against quarterback option runs. This was against West Virginia. Quarterback Will Greer could be one of the first picks in next year's draft, trying to keep the football and run outside. Flowers stays home and is having none of this, eventually forcing a fumble. As with all NFL teams, Seattle values turnovers, and that last play would have excited Pete Carroll. However, there can be a downside with players like Flowers trying too hard to aggressively create turnovers, and sometimes it compromises his tackling form. He becomes too much of an arm tackler while he's trying to strip the football away. He needs to become more cognizant of the right time to try to strip the football and when he should just wrap up ball carriers and bring them to the ground. There's nothing wrong with trying to work to rip the football out, especially when you're playing at the college level. Against NFL quarterbacks and running backs, though, it's going to be much more difficult to get them to the ground. Arm tackles simply won't cut it, especially for an undersized player like Flowers. As shown earlier, the mindset is there for Trey Flowers. He wants to do well against the run. He was really productive stopping the run in college, but he doesn't always get a good rap, and sometimes his lack of play strength becomes a deficiency for him. Case in point, He's able to help trip up this running back, but still doesn't get a very good rap. On the very next play against Oklahoma, they're down three. They need a stop. Flowers again puts himself in a position to make a play, but he misses an arm tackle attempt. Unable to bring him down to the ground, the running back explodes past the second level and darts 53 yards for a back-breaking touchdown. As a corner, he won't have to play in the box like this very often, if at all, but he's still going to have to shore up his tackling. Flowers will also have to get a little bit stronger to hold up against NFL running backs. Once again, he does a nice job deciphering a run and gets himself in position to make a play, but this time the running back bowls over him to pick up extra yardage. His overall play strength is going to have to improve to bring down bigger professional backs. Overall, there's a lot to like about Flowers' potential. His height, length, and speed will be a valuable asset as a press coverage corner on the outside. Given his poor movement in space and his inconsistent tackling, however, it's going to take some time for him to be able to make this transition. Much as former Seahawk Deshaun Shedd did, it might take a couple years before Flowers is able to become a real contributor defensively.